When the Georgia National Guard needed to learn how to work with helicopters, they called the Warrior Training Center, and now they're out here getting it done. The Army National Guard Warriors Training Center has developed a Pathfinder course, which is a 14-day continuous program that focuses on the necessary skills for students to become potential Pathfinders, where they're trained on providing technical expertise to their commanders in the planning and overall execution of air movement air assault operations, drop zone operations, and aerial resupply operations for fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft. From transportation and resupply to medevac operations, helicopters play a huge role on today's battlefields, so it's important that units learn how to work with them effectively. Raven 1-1, this is Pathfinder, turn drop heading 1620 degrees. As a Pathfinder student, they are taught air traffic control, aero metal evacuation, helicopter landing zone and pickup zone operations, uh, sling load operations, and drop zone operations. And at the end of the course, they have a 48-hour FTX, which serves as the capstone event of the entire course where all those skills are brought together at one time. Now that U.S. troops are shifting focus over to the rough and mountainous terrain of Afghanistan, the need for these skills is increasing every day. With the way that we're deployed right now, is we're not, it's not a linear battlefield. We're going through multiple different fobs, and the easiest way to get resupplied equipment and also personnel is, is through helicopters, especially when you're, you're dealing you know, some of the remote locations that we're we're looking for uh, insurgents in Afghanistan. You're, you're definitely going to be dealing with some helicopters and some sling loading operations. And when it comes to dealing with helicopters, knowing how to properly communicate and direct their crews is critical to the success of their mission. Whenever you have an air assault mission, someone must guide that helicopter in. And that's exactly where the Pathfinder comes into play. Uh, they'll be on location ready to receive that aircraft so they can deliver the air assault team. These Pathfinder skills will not only provide National Guard soldiers the tools necessary to be successful downrange, they'll also make them better prepared for operations back here in the states. The biggest role for the National Guard is their state mission. So these guys are able to go back and the same skills that they learn in Pathfinder school, the planning and everything in Ranger school, the air assault techniques that they learn on sling load and those types of things you can use in a natural disaster situation. So whether it be a hurricane, floods, uh, WMD attack, they can apply those same skills to help their unit, their state, and their local citizens to uh, get their infrastructure back operating. There's a lot to learn in Pathfinder in a short amount of time, so it's important to come prepared and be ready to work hard. One thing that did surprise me is, is the, uh, the difficulty of the academics. It's, it's not a joke when they say that this is one of the toughest courses that you're going to have to take, but it's a great challenge because it really lets you know what you're made of, and if you've got the desire, you can do it because nothing is too overly complicated. It's just you got to come in here, you got to have the right mindset, you got to say, you know what, it's going to be 18, 20 hour days and it's going to be a lot of studying, but you can get it done. We follow the same model that 507th has for their POI and our guys learn the exact same program and then you come out the other end, you're able to go and do Pathfinder skills for a unit in theater. It's a very good course. The Warrior Training Center's Pathfinder course provides the knowledge and skills necessary for units to be successful when working with helicopters, both in theater and here at home.